Hi, I'm Miss Corinne, and it's time for Tales. The story I have for you today is about perspective and how we can have different perspectives. My experience of something can be different from your experience of the same thing. It's an ancient story, and you may have even read the book, Seven Blind Mice by Ed Young. Let's go over to the Shadow Puppet Theater. Once upon a time, there were seven blind mice. They were best friends and helped each other out doing everything together. One day, they felt a huge shadow pass by them and stop at the edge of the water. What is that? What was that? Did you feel that? I've never felt anything like that before. What could it be? The first mouse spoke up. I'll go feel it and find out what it is. He bravely ran up to the thing, sniffed it, and crawled up. It's thick, tall, straight, and a bit round. It's definitely a tree trunk, he cried out to his friends. A tree trunk, are you sure? Let me check, said the second mouse. The second mouse ran up to the thing and grabbed on. Ooh, it's long and twisty. Oh, it's a snake. It can't be a tree and a snake, the third mouse argued. Let me go. I'll find out. So the third mouse ran up to a rock and jumped. Aha, she said, it's pointy. It must be a spear. This is getting ridiculous, said the fourth mouse. I'll go. He ran up and climbed and climbed and climbed until finally he announced, this thing is huge. It has to be a mountain. I want to try, squeaked the fifth mouse. Exploring, she crawled up something flat and wide. Hey, I felt it move. It's a fan. Oh, come on, said the sixth mouse. I'll find out what it really is. He ran up and grabbed it. Something long and stringy. Ooh-wee! I've got it! It's a rope! I'm sure of it! Hmm. The seventh mouse decided it was her turn. She ran up something thick and tall. She felt something twisty. She touched something pointy. She climbed up one giant side. She felt a flat part waving. And she grabbed onto something long and stringy. You're all right, she said, returning to her friends. It is as strong as a tree, as flexible as a snake, as sharp as a spear, as wavy as a fan, and as thin as a rope. But it's not any one of those things. It's an elephant. And as the shadow of the great thing passed by them again, the six other mice knew the seventh was right. They had each experienced only one part of the great elephant, but the seventh mouse had discovered the whole truth. The end. So why do you think each mouse had a different idea of what the mysterious object was. What did the last mouse do that was different from all the other mice? Well, I have certainly learned a lot about perspective and listening to everybody's experiences and putting them together to have a greater understanding. Thank you for coming to hear this story. I will miss you when you go, but I will see you at our next story time. Until then, I love you so.